there, Tiffany and Brad here with Years of Years, and it's this day in Disney for March 16th. And today we are going way, 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 way back to 1911. 1911. Love those yeah. number ones. Far back. And um, back then, motion picture designer, artist, and Disney legend Harbor Goff, who collaborated with Walt Disney on Disneyland, there you go. Um, on its design, is born in Fort Collins, Colorado. There you go. Yeah, so <clears throat> Harbor Goff was a really special contributor to Disney history. He did some cool things, and um, it, we'll get into like how Walt and him met. It's kind of cute because a lot of people who worked with Walt met in the same way. So, anyway, um, he actually moved to Santa Ana, California, where he attended Chenard um, Art Institute. And he actually became business with Warner Brothers as a set designer for Casablanca and The Adventures of Don Juan. So those films. Big films. He also did... That um, had a presence in uh, Hollywood Studios not too long ago. Yeah. He was also an actor and was in Hit Parade. Very nice. Yeah. Another, I mean, I think that was in the great movie, right? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Harper met Walt Disney in 1951 and was asked to sketch possible true life adventure short called 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which we know became more than a short. And Harper Goff was a huge Jules Verne fan, so he was more than happy to be part of this film and he designed the nautilus so he's responsible for how the nautilus turned out in the film as well very as nice. in the parts very too. iconic very yeah. beloved mm -hmm. even to a ornament produced two years ago by uh, hallmark for disney oh yeah that was cool so um he designed so later he worked on disneyland with concepts for main street and he actually established the fact that um the architecture could tell a story so i love that that's right up walt alley and what he yeah. wanted for disneyland and what one of the things oh, that i love the galaxy's edge i mean mm -hmm. all the world's toy story all of, all of them architecture they all tell stories yes they do exactly <clears throat> so that's harper golf so he designed the park city hall he also led this, the design for um epcot's world showcase pavilions okay yeah wow. so, <laughs> so i mean he was working with them all the way till wow. like as a consultant later till 1998. how wonderful so if you think he was born in 1911 wow what <laughs> he contributed Commitment so to creation much Thank so you. not only that but he played the pan van <laughs> he played the banjo <laughs> i gotta get it out Very nice. and that was for the fire fire firehouse five plus two of course so it was I remember them so he yeah. played with them so we've talked about them before and they mm -hmm. were actually very popular recording yeah. artists and walt really just kind of allowed them to participate in their success as long yeah. as they kept their day jobs so yeah they were big yeah so <laughs> if he was playing with the firehouse fly and he was yeah, he was in there. like Flynn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, then his non-Disney credits, get this, The Fantastic Voyage okay. from 1966 nice. and then from 71, 1971, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate there Factory. You go. Oh my Makes gosh. so much sense. How wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, that might mean that he's responsible for like the chocolate fountain room. Mm -hmm. And the, oh, whoa, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Or at least collaborating, coming up with those ideas. So that was Pretty Harper cool. Golf worked on. You know, we love both. Yeah. We love, actually love. You know, and there is the... such a theme park element to the Chocolate oh, Factory. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I always go to that theme park actually. Yeah. Yeah. Someday that will be built. You know, it, it had will to be. be. It has to be. Yeah. So during World War II, actually, he worked on camouflage, designing camouflage. I mean, they're still using camouflage today. And this was so interesting. He was making uh, paint and working on a do-it-yourself painter's kit assigned to a camouflage research facility in Fort Belvoir in Virginia. And he developed a set of paint colors, which were like paint-by-number kits. 
really. Okay. Yeah. Like early mm -hmm. versions of that. Right. And How so then also <clears throat> they wanted it, the camouflage pigment to be chemically impermanent. So it would disappear over, you know, like when they didn't need it anymore. Okay. And they, well, they can remove it's it. It's so interesting because you think about yeah. like Joe Rohde and his new assignment or venture uh, with Virgin Atlantic or Virgin Galactic, pardon yeah. me. You know, I mean, it's very interesting. Disney individuals going out into the world and continuing to shape this the world. This was before. Oh, this was before. He was shaping before. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so, so also, well, harvesting he was from working accomplishment. on confusing the silhouettes of ships. So there was something called dazzle camouflage. You'll have to look it up. Um, it's very interesting. It's like this black and white um, sort of, um, I don't know how to describe it, but they were thinking that this would confuse, you know, airplanes and things. So okay. that's something else he was working on. So, oh, nice. yeah, it was very interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, <laughs> like, uh, like almost like fun houses on water, giant mm -hmm. fun house wheels on water that yeah. would like spin in the water and create distraction for airplanes. But, yeah. you know, yeah, we don't see them today. <laughs> so I think. It didn't work out. <laughs> they were maybe more noticeable. <laughs> they look really noticeable. Oh, look. Uh, <laughs> we the found ship. the coastline. <laughs> they found it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So let me tell you how Walt and Goff met. It's actually, they had, they both obviously, Walt loved model trains, and so did Harper Goff. In 1951, while in London, um, on a model making shop, he met Walt Disney, and they both wanted the same model train. So yeah. it's a, I didn't find out who got the train. Yeah. They were both cuckoo <laughs> yeah. for choo choos. And so that's how they struck up a friendship. Yeah, they became friends. So yes. you have the model trains, the Firehouse Five Plus Two. All he just fit right in with the Disney company. Even they came in in 1951. And he also was highly talented, trained in Chenard. And just gave so much to the company. He was a, you know. Thank you, Disney asset, legend. Huge asset. <laughs> Mr. Goff. For sure. And he had a cool name. Yes, he did. So, <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this day in Disney. I don't know if you know who Harper Goff was before. But he was a really huge contributor to the Disney company. And, um.